Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate send friend requests on Facebook using Socinator. Facebook is all about friends and Socinator can help you send friend requests to targeted users. Let's start with the accounts manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit go to tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. We are under the Send Friend Request tab because we want to send friend requests on Facebook. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to send friend requests to a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Send Friend Request activity. Let's start with Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to add. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have selected your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click the add queries to the list button and it will be added to the queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's say James Bond, click add. So as you can see, it will be added to the queries list over here. So if we type the same keyword on Facebook and click people because we are targeting Facebook users, so it will target these users. Next, we have location. So we need to specify where the users should live. So let's say London, for example, we only need to type the place, click add. So it will target people who live in London. Next, we have group members. So we need to choose a specific group on Facebook and enter the group URL here. Let's say how to draw manga or anime tips. So this group has 16,884 members. So copy the group URL and then paste it in the query box. Click add. So this will target all the members of this specific Facebook group. For fan page likers, we need a fan page this time. Let's say Oreo, for example. So this is the official page of Oreo. 42 million people like this page. Copy the page URL, paste it here, click add. So this will target all the people who like that specific page. Next, we have friend of friend. So we need to input a profile URL here. So let's say this particular Facebook user, copy the profile URL, paste it here, click add. So this will target his friends. Next, we have post likers. For this one, we need a specific post URL. So let's go to Oreo, for example, and select this specific post. Let's click the share button under the post and click copy link. So the link has been copied. Let's paste the link in the query box and click add queries to the list. So this will target all the likers of that specific post. So there are 217 likers. Next, we have post sharer. So let's use the same post URL. Click add. So this will target the users who shared this specific post. So we have 14 users who shared this post. Next, we have post commenters. Let's use the same post URL again, click add. So this time it will target the users who commented on this post. So there are like 20 comments. Next we have graph search URL. We need to enter a search URL. So for example, um, James Bond, click search and click people. We need the search URL, this one, the search results URL. And it will target all the people who appeared in the search. So paste it and click add. Next, we have page post likers. We need to enter the page URL. So let's use the Oreo page again. 
copy the page URL, paste it here, click add. So this will target all the users who like posts from that specific page. Next, we have group post likers. So we need a group URL this time. Let's use the same group URL from earlier, which is how to draw manga. So copy the group URL, paste it in a query box, and click add queries to the list. And it will target all the users who like posts from that specific group. Next, we have custom profile URL. So as the name suggests, we need a profile URL. So let's use James Bond again. Copy the profile URL, paste it here, and click add queries to the list. Next, we have suggested friends. So with this query type, the software will search all Facebook suggested friends. So you only need to put friends in the query type, click add, and it will target your suggested friends on Facebook. Next, we have event URL. Let's say this event, for example. Copy the event URL and paste it here in the query box. Click add. So this will search for users who are interested in that specific event. Finally, we have user follower. So you need to enter a profile URL here, and the followers of that specific user will be targeted. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. For example, keywords. Let's click and it's gone. The next category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should send friend requests to Facebook users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 12, medium with 33, fast with 66, or super fast with 83. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Facebook user is added. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after sending friend requests to the number of users you set in number of requests per job. Number of requests per job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook users you want to add per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users you want to add per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches a certain number of max requests per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep adding users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click add interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking create favorite Let's call it Facebook Ad. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Facebook Ad. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to add on Facebook. So first we have Genders, so you can select whether to add male users, female users, or both. Let's add both. For location, you must enter a specific location. Let's say London. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button. Select the right file and click open. When you're done, click the save button over here. Next, we have manage blacklisted users. Blacklisted users are the Facebook profiles you do not want Socinator to interact with. In this case, the software will not add blacklisted users, so check this box to skip them. This can either be a private blacklist which belongs to a specific Facebook account, or a group blacklist which is shared between all the accounts you add. Finally, we have after sent request action. So after you have sent your friend request, 
You have the option to either like users' latest posts, specify the number of likes and the delay between each like. You may also comment on the user's latest posts, specify the number of comments and the delay between each comment. You may type your comment here. Cool. Again, you may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. And then when you're done, click save. Finally, you can send a direct message after following a user. Specify the delay between each message. Here you can specify the delay and here you can type your message. Thanks for the ad. Again, you may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Click save when you're done. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start sending friend requests on Facebook, let's scroll up and click the save button. Success. Let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating send friend requests on Facebook using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the grow friends tab and select send friend request on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Facebook send friend request. So for search query, let's target James Bond, for example. And the location should be in London. Click add. For job configuration, an average daily activities of 12 should be okay. So let's select slow. For user filters, James Bond is male. So let's select male. We have already specified our location in the search query. Other configurations, you can check this box to send requests to unique users from each account. Let's skip blacklisted users and let's like users' latest posts. One, two, three. So when you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click the save button. It will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Facebook send friend request campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.